And we continue our coverage now of the Gore campaign. NBC producer Greg Katz is on the telephone from Tampa, Florida, to tell us what it's been like on the Gore campaign and what we can expect in Tampa. Greg? Hey, hi, John. I'm glad you told me I was in Tampa because I really wasn't sure. I was going to, I thought maybe you were going to tell me you were someplace else. I thought I was in Orlando, but I'm told I'm in Tampa. I see a lot of Buccaneer signs, so I must be in Tampa. Um, there's going to be a rally here uh, about a, seven blocks from the hotel where I'm staying, and Jimmy Buffett will perform. So that should be exciting. Yeah, tell me about that event. This is an, uh, uh, an event Jimmy Buffett is holding for Al Gore, what, this afternoon, tonight? 4.40 Eastern Time. And what happens, other than the fact that Jimmy Buffett plays and people have a good time, what happens at the event like that? Are they expecting a pretty big crowd? Um, not, yeah, pretty big. They're closing off um, the streets around four blocks each direction. And they're pretty excited here. And um, I think what's going to happen is going to be what, what's happened at all the rallies. Um, a lot of support, a lot of buttons being sold, a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling. And Florida is a really key state, as you know, and um, I'm sure they're going to come back here soon. Greg, we've distributed some uh, what we call campaign cams, uh, and we want to take a look at some of the video that uh, you've been shooting. Let's take a look at that right now. Okay. I was just calling to find out if you received your sample ballot mail yet. Okay, make sure you get it out because we need our board to win very badly. The environment is a huge issue. It's enormous. It's important to Gore. Civil rights is a very, very big deal. He does not seem to have to account for any of this. But I don't understand that. People seem to be relying on a likability thing. Gore is on the other side of that, but it doesn't seem to mean anything. It doesn't seem to mean a thing that Bush is against all these things. If you have free time also, if you'd like to help out, if you come in, we're here from 10 o'clock every morning until 9 every night. We have tens of thousands of volunteers around the state ready to go. The only thing you should know is... The I have never prayed so hard in anything in my entire life. And uh, I don't want to get too sappy, but if Gore needs to win, he's going to win. And so I'm just taking responsibility for my actions. I'm getting on the phone. I'm doing what I have to do. Bye-bye. So we got a little glimpse there, yeah. Greg, of what it's like inside the campaign headquarters in Tampa. And i got to tell you, these people are pretty emotional, these volunteers, aren't they? They're extremely passionate. I have a real newfound appreciation of just how committed they are. Uh, I'm fairly new to this process. I'm usually stuck up in an edit room, uh, a dark edit room, but they let me out for this. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's because it's cable. I don't know. But they let me out, and they gave me a camera, and I think they're in trouble, but... Well, no, it's, it's, pretty inter it's pretty interesting stuff. Now, uh, Al Gore is, we just saw Tipper Gore, so they're going to get on a plane and they're going to head your way, right? Oh, yeah. In fact, when I came into the hotel, I saw the vans already here, and I asked him uh, what he's doing, because basically I'm nosy. I have the camera. I ask, I'm like my five-year-old daughter. I ask questions of everybody. And he said he was on his way to pick up the, pre uh, the vice president. So well, we'll be watching. I'm sure he's here already. We will be watching. I don't believe they're there yet, but they will be shortly. We'll be watching as uh, Vice President Gore heads off to Tampa, Florida. Greg Katz, thanks for uh, the videotape for the campaign cam. Keep up the good work. We'll talk I'm, to you a little later. I'll try to go to sleep. All right, do that. Bye. We'll have more of The Last Mile Decision 2000 as we continue our coverage here on MSNBC.